Hey there everyone, my name is Mitchell Coleman and I am an alcoholic and I have your daily reflections for today and a few other readings from uh, my favorite books right now. Um, today's date, November 19th, daily reflection is I was slipping fast. We AAs are active folk, enjoying the satisfactions of dealing with the realities of life. So it isn't surprising that we often tend to slight serious meditation and prayer as something not really necessary. That comes from the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 96. I had been slipping away from the program for some time, but it took a death threat from a terminal disease to bring me back, and particularly to practice to the practice of the 11th step of our blessed fellowship. Although I had 15 years of sobriety and was still very active in the program, I knew that the quality of my sobriety had slipped badly. 18 months later, a checkup revealed a mal maleg malignant tumor and a prognosis of certain death within six months. Despair settled in when I enrolled in a rehab program, after which I suffered two small strokes which revealed two large brain tumors. As I kept hitting new bottoms, I had to ask myself why this was happening to me. God allowed me to recognize my dishonesty and to become teachable again. Miracles begin to happen, but primarily, I relearned the whole meaning of the 11th step. My physical condition has improved dramatically, but my illness is minor compared to what I almost lost completely. I love this one. Again, this whole month is on the uh, 11th step which is sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for knowledge of his will and for us, the power to carry that out. Uh, this one is really good. Obviously I can relate with it kind of in the sense of, um, I have that sobriety and, um, I get comfortable in it and I get comfortable in my new life that I'm living and I forget about what got me here, which is my higher power, whom I choose to call God and the recovery program of Alcoholics Anonymous. It's a great fellowship and I have not been going to it as much as I'd like, but I am just having an absolutely wonderful day because I've been going to court for about two years for a DWI that has affected me really good. This particular DWI was the final straw, the rock bottom that I needed to hit. And again, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't die. This moment was meant to be. And this is what I needed to be where I'm at today. And my life is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I would not be here today had I not gotten that DWI. And who knows, I would have got one eventually, another one anyway had I not gotten that one. And who knows what could have happened then? Who knows if I would have quit drinking, I most likely wouldn't have, but that's what I needed for it. And um, I have kept a very good connection with my higher power. And I firmly believe there's something way bigger than us that is part of all of our lives. And there's a big plan for what I'm supposed to do. And, and I'm still here and I'm, I believe that my divine power is helping me in so many ways and just, I can never say it enough, this legal thing that happened either way. Uh, so I had court the other day and I have now been accepted into a program called the PACT program and it is going to be amazing. It's my whole perspective on things and it's going to be a difficult task, but you know, these are the times that you get stronger and um, I've, I've, not been this happy in a long time it still hasn't really hit me and and again it's going to be tough but i know i can do it as long as i stay sober and i have my support with aa and my higher power and my girlfriend and my kids and my friends and family my close family and um i could not do any of this without god i, I know it and um i'm just so fortunate and blessed and so happy to have this chance to learn even more and continue in this recovery. But uh, either way, let me read a little more from uh, some other books. Um, little things I like, this one, The Obstacles, The Way by Ryan Holiday. Um, these things just touch, 
uh, touched base with me really, really good, especially today. And this one reads, whether it's pursuing the pinnacle of success in your field or simply surviving some awful or trying ordeal, the same approach works. Don't think about the end. Think about surviving. Making it from meal to meal, break to break, checkpoint to checkpoint, paycheck to paycheck, one day at a time. And when you really get it right, even the hardest things become manageable because the process is relaxing. Under its influence, we needn't panic. Even mammoth tasks become just a series of component parts and this has helped me a lot and this is the one day at a time thing just take it one day at a time and i've been dealing with this for like two years and i have my days because it, i'm human you know and i would get stressed out and this anxiety would build and the depression and and um you know one day at a time one day at a time has got me here to this point of finally being accepted into this program to get my life even back on track even better and I've learned so much in this time and I would have never learned all this I would have never grown the way I have spiritually and and mentally and and physically even you know had I not had that moment that one moment of that DWI and all that has what got me here today that dark time is what got me to this awesome point in my life right now and also, uh, I wanted to read something from the Daily Stoic, which is um, 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance, and the Art of Living uh, by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Uh, this one is cool. This is for uh, the meditation uh, November 19th, or the yeah Daily Meditation. Uh, these three quotes compiled by Epictetus Epictetus show us in wisdom across history the themes of tolerance, flexibility, and ultimately acceptance. Cleanthes and Euripides evoke destiny and fate as concepts that help ease acceptance. When one has a belief in a greater or higher power, be it God or gods, then there is no such thing as an event going contrary to plan. Even if you don't believe in a deity, you can take some comfort in the various laws of the universe or even the circle of life. What happens to us as individuals can seem random or upsetting or cruel or inexplainable, inexplicable, when in fact these events make perfect sense when our perspective is zoomed out even just slightly. Let's practice this perspective today. Pretend that each event, whether desired or unexpected, was willed to happen, willed specifically for you. You wouldn't fight that, would you? And that just brings me back to that moment, that DWI. I was talking to my sponsor, Ben, about it. And I was uh, saying, wow, it was a drunk guy on a bicycle that had rolled out in front of my truck and I honked at him a bunch. And that's why I got pulled over. So I was honking at this guy because I didn't want to hit him and he was going to get hit. So they pulled me over for honking my horn too much, which is very dumb, you know? What else is the horn for? That was the initial reason they pulled me over. Of course, I shouldn't have been driving in the first place. And um, either way, I'm looking at that, that one event of that guy, that guy getting drunk wherever he was, getting on his bicycle, riding out, had no idea, riding out in front of my truck, me honking, would lead to me getting pulled over, getting this DWI, going to rehab, spending time in jail, and all this recovery that I've had, all this growth mentally and spiritually and physically, all of this, everything I've accomplished within these almost two years, a little over two years, would not have been possible had that guy not rode out on his bicycle. And that is just a circumstance. Looking back at it now, I can't be upset about that. That is what made me who I am today. And that's why we should be happy with all the moments, even the bad ones. Amor fati is a, a phrase that I've also learned recently where we just should be happy with whatever's happening. Whether it be bad or good, we need to accept it and move on and grow from it. We don't see the bigger picture down, down the road, what's gonna happen, just like for me. So these growing pains are so important and such a necessity in our lives and I could not be happier that that guy got drunk that day and rode his bicycle out in front of me. Cause here I am and I'm grateful. That's all I really got. Um, 
I just love you guys so much. I'm very tired right now because I've gotten like one hour of sleep, worked graveyard shift, and had to go meet the court court guy and go like get fingerprints done and all sorts of fun stuff. And now I have video court again coming up at three, so I should probably try to nap because then I go in for graveyard shift again tonight. Um, either way, all this is great, and I'm very happy. Um, I love you guys. Let's always remember one day at a time, Amori Fati and we can do this and if you have any suggestions on ways I can make these videos better or or um, suggestions on something else I could maybe make a video on that could be helpful um, please leave a comment below give me some likes please share this this channel with friends that you know that are in recovery um, it's all about helping people and I, I believe that my story is a testimony to what can be done and I'm not the only one that's been in this you know I, I'm clearly not the only one that's gotten DWIs and um, clearly not the only one that is an addict, addict and has drinking problems and um, have had many legal issues relationship issues um, either way love you guys uh, peace out and I'll pass bye